All right, so we're back. And I have done a bit of moving around here. Which apparently, in doing so, I have broken one thing too many. So I have put in six of these now. And a hell of a lot cleaner than what it was last time. Still unable to keep up with these two. So, still not the greatest, but we've got plenty of room to add more if we need to. If, which we're probably going to take all the gems that are coming up here. And we're probably going to break all of this out. And just break them down. Crush them down into that and send that down. Because uh, we're not getting much of any of them right now. Now that we've used up what we already had. So we're going to go ahead and put this back up over here. There we go. And then we need to get this pipe. Ran over here for the slurry. Uh, which you're gonna be a pain in my butt. There we go. That will be less of a pain in my butt. Oh, and by the way, you'll notice we have everything done up here for the solar panels finally, except for that one RoboPort, because we're not making RoboPorts yet. We so need to start making RoboPorts. Um,. All right, so I have a few of these that I had to pick up when I moved the machine. So let's get them in here first. Uh, that is the emerald. Oh, that's the output emerald. Okay. So I need the one that goes on the input. That's the topaz. Not sure where the emerald went. Is that it? There it is. Kind of hard to tell the difference here. Alright, so that's the raw. That's the ore. There's the amethyst. And there's the sapphire. Alright. So now we basically need two more of these. On each one of these from what I can tell now whether I'm going to be able to do it exactly like this or not is yet to be seen because now we need to make the grinding wheel and supply it with water the grinding wheel will do have to do in a separate one this is now going to be that All the way down through there. So we're going to have to get water into here, which we can do like that. So that won't be a big issue. We can, let's see, if we do that across like that and... We can do that, <clears throat> and this will connect for all of that. That'll take care of our water, which we have to connect, but that'll take care of that part. Let's go ahead and get amethyst and all this out of my inventory where is the other one i'm missing one which is somewhere in my inventory 
All right, so now we just got to worry about how are we getting the grinding wheel in here. And I think what we're going to do... Because this one is going to need polishing wheel and compound. So no, that's going to need two on one belt as it is. So we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I want to do this? I guess I could do it along this strip. <clears throat> if I move... If I move this one over one, which wouldn't be difficult to do... We can just take that out, and we can shuffle each one of these over. That'll get me a line to come through there that I can then do that, and we can put our grinding wheel right like that. And then for this one, it would just be, well, I guess we do something along that line. And I have no idea why I went all the way down there, because that doesn't get shit. So it basically would be like that. And then we just have this over here, which is where we make our grinding wheel. So we have that output, or like so. And that would feed all three of them. And we probably not going to want to do one of these on each. So how about we just do... Oh, I really hope I don't need this phosphorate for a while. I am kind of making a mess all over this vein. And I actually have a good idea on what I'm going to do to not do this in the future. But right now, kind of still happening. Okay, so that'll be like that. We just need to get the components down here for it. And then, and you know what, I think I'm just going to work on getting this upper set done and then we'll just copy it over down there and change over the gems. Alright, so now we're going to do this, which this is going to have to have a belt going there. And this is going to be the actual diamond. This will be the amethyst. This will be the sapphire. <clears throat> so now we're going to need one of these. All the way across there. We'll have it pick up down there. And go there. And then we're going to need to do this for each one of those. And this is going to come out, and it's going to have, uh, let's do it back here. So we're going to have this one doing the polish. I don't know why it's not in there, but there's the polish wheel, which I guess would put the wheel down here because both of those need steel. And then this needs the actual polish who doing what where now how did you get into that one little area uh, hold on okay anyways it was two biters one little one one big one i don't know how they got into that little bitty area okay so alumnia and base mineral oil is what we need and that so looked like it was in this area. 
Um, wait a minute, is that not made? That's made in a chemical plant. Well, kiss my butt. Well, no wonder I can't make it in there. All right, so we need a chem plant for that. And we'll just have that output that way and that output that way. There. And this is going to be the polish. And for the polish, it shows we need alumina, so we've got to get that over here. And making alumina is aluminum of uh, aluminum hydroxide. Unless we want it, we can't do that one yet. Or aluminum ingot, silicon pellet, and hydrogen. Which will make six aluminum and selene gas. What do we do with that crap? We can turn that and silicon ingots into more silicon ingots. Okay, kiss my butt. We're going to do this. So that's processed and sodium hydroxide to make it. The sodium hydroxide is coming out of our saline water with our chlorine and our hydrogen. And then the process is just a processor. All right, so is this going to be something that would be easier to send up here? I'm thinking from over here where we're doing our aluminum smelting rather than setting all that up over there. Because that would just mean that we need to take it from here. Which would not be difficult to do. this which we're going to be using this stuff here real soon but we still are going to move that at some point let's try to keep this a little bit cleaner and tucked in here I've moved a lot of these belts around to try to keep things tucked into kind of one area Now, this needs to go all the way up there, so no reason to follow that. And we can just pop it up. This is one place that I've really redone. I moved those from up there to down here. Now we can just pop this and we can bring this up here now we also have to deal with getting steel in there and we're gonna have something else going in there this is going to be steel and wood. So we'll probably put... Yeah, we'll probably put steel and wood both on that one. So we won't have to worry about getting anything into that upper one. So the only thing we're going to have to worry about is how we're getting to this belt right here. Which we can always bring in 
from this side and over. And the other thing this is going to need is going to be a whole different ball of wax we got to deal with. All right, so there comes our alumnia. And then the other thing it needs is our base mineral oil, which we have right here. Unfortunately, we're going to lose a bit of, because we don't need it going all the way down there. And this pipe, this is going to be a problem. So I think we'll just move it into about right there. No, that's just putting it more in your way, dumbass. How about you not put it more in the way? Hmm. That's as good as it can get. So, how do I want to go about this? Well, it should be right there. Yeah, not quite. Right there. Okay, well, I guess that works. There we go. Alright, so now that will be getting what it needs as soon as that alumnia gets over here. So now we got to deal with getting the steel in here and the wood. So like I said, we're just going to bring this up and come around this way I guess we're not going to expand these battery banks any I don't think and we might as well keep pretty tight to them So, steel and wood are over here. Wood will be very simple. We can just do that. And that will get us our wood. And steel, we can do... there and then we just need to run this basically Straight across this mess. What in the world is supposed to be on that belt right there? I'm going to have to figure that out. Alright, so we need to go up. And across this. There. Now to get us our wood and our steel. We may have to upgrade. this belt so it's a little bit faster um because that's going to come out rather slow but i'm not guessing we're going to need too many of these we can also change over where this is instead of having our 
buffer chest there we can always move it up there and that would help as well which is honestly what I will probably do all right so let's get back over here and now we got the more complicated part to set up which is the grinding wheel yeah the grinding wheel because it needs a steel plate but it also needs silicon carbide so we're gonna have to figure out how to make silicon carbide which honestly I kind of already know or at least somewhat know um, I just thought about it. I need to get all three of these things down yonder, too. So I guess let's do this. So that'll be the two that we need that we can then send down here to do those. So, silicon carbide. It is actually very simple. We need silicon powder and carbon in a chemical furnace. And the powder is going to come from ingots in a assembly and the ingots we actually have being made over yonder so we're going to do the same thing that we did with the alumnia for that so we're going to need a chemical furnace which we're not going to need a number two there's no way we're going to be making that much of this and I think we're going to go ahead and make it over here because there's going to be no reason to send the silicon all the way over there. And since this is our processing area, that's where we're going to do it. So that is silver. Let me get this started. Uh, is this silicon? No, that's not silicon either. Where in the hell do I process silicon? Oh, up here. Alright, so up here we have silicon ore going in to be made into silicon ingots, which I want to look at something. Is it not time to do this? We can do that. And we can do that. This one is processed in hydrogen chlorine chloride gas which we are making chlorine and hydrogen to make it but we were already making it i think we actually have it as a byproduct of something all right so we're going to be changing this over soon Uh, we need that chemical furnace. There it is. So we're just going to put that over here out of the way. And we'll do this because that should be slow enough to not really hinder that production. And if it ends up being that way, then well. We'll deal with it. There's going to be a lot of changes coming soon. There's just a few things I want to do first. So we need Hello? Oh, we're trying to do that. 
So we don't need that yet. We need the ingots into there first. Then we need that into powder. Silicon powder. Which I really don't like the fact that we do it in here. Because we just had that thing. We have that powder mixer thingy whopper mills and all of that. Why would we be breaking it down in this? That just seems like a terrible oversight. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then that is going to be that. So then all we need to do is get the carbon in here, which we have carbon right here. As always, since it is our fuel, we can just have it go right there. And now we just need to get a little bit of power around here. And we'll make our silicon carbide. And it's going to make two per. We actually might want to change this over. And use the other chemical furnace. This is going to be rather slow. Again, we're not going to need a lot of this at any one time, but it still seems rather slow. Alright, so we're just going to run this. Um, why has that got carbon? Why you do things? Stop doing things. <coughs> there, now you stop doing things? Yes, you'll stop doing things. Alright, so now, run this along here, shit, I can't go there, we gotta go under the alumnia, so we might as well bring it, I guess, over to that one. And I'm actually out of belts. All right, hold on, be back in a minute. All right, so I finally got everything taken care of. Now we're gonna get some power going on around here. Now we get all of that. We can do one of these beside each of those. And that should take care of about everything. Oh, this was for water. That's right, we gotta get water in here. Now, why in the world can you not reach where I want you? There. Not everything, but this lone guy down here has power. Let's give him power. Alright, so we're getting our polish in. We got our grinding wheels in. Um, we need to get the water. So let's get some water in here. I guess we might as well run this over like that because we're going to need to connect 
that anyways. And then we can just run this down. And I should have a water pump down here. Already, but we'll make a new one. So we don't have to try to get past all of that. And that is the wrong one, and I already have one anyways. Alright, so that'll get us water up here. Now we just need to connect that and that. And now, once we get our carbide in here, which is on its way, which I've got a little bit extra of, we will now start making our gems. And there we go, we're making our first sapphire. And once we get some more wheels over here, We'll start making our first amethyst. Uh, why? Oh, because you're picking up from the side. Gotcha. All right. So now we just need to basically copy all of this. And we need to transpose it down here. To this except um actually is there a way to mirror a blueprint uh it's not that i don't know that there's a way to mirror it if there is, I don't know how to do it. So I guess we're not going to copy it. All right, so that is one block apart, just like we got here. I guess we're going to have to redo this all manually. So that'll be that. That will be emerald. That will be Ruby and Topaz, Emerald, Ruby, except all of these are going to be moving down at least one. I don't remember. All right, so we needed the water into here. How did I do the water up here? Oh yeah, just like that. Okay. Except I'm doing undergrounds, obviously. And then we can just take that. And there we go. That takes care of that part. Now we need to get these into each of those and I need to get rid of these out of my inventory and I'm missing the ruby one and I'm sure it's in this mess of crap somewhere that I seriously need to get taken care of I know you guys hear this about every other video my inventory's a mess I need to take care of it but do I ever take care of it no. And I have no idea where those rubies are. I guess the only way to really find out is to... Okay, somehow I don't have rubies in my inventory. Okay, fine. Um, speaking of, 
That's not connected. There. Now it is, and maybe that's why I didn't have any. Maybe I never got it hooked up in the first place. Alright, so that takes care of that. And then we needed... This is where we need to have the belt that's coming right across the top. Alright, hold on. Let me go look. Yeah, that comes right across the top there. And that's the grinding wheels that are right here. Oh, didn't we want to move one of these? Yeah, we need to move this one over. I was wondering why this was here like this. Because, yeah, this needs to go over there. To give us a little bit more space. And I might actually be moving it. Yeah, that should actually be in line here. And this will move over to there. And that one, we're going to have to take that out. That way we have room to get that in. Alright, and then we were doing this... That went that way, that went that way, and this one is supposed to pick up from there. So we need to turn that like so. And I just noticed this guy doesn't have power, so let's give him power. And now we just need to get this we need to scoop this one over and we need it to pick up back there and put into there so now if we give power to all of them, they will do such. And then we just need to bring this across here with that like that. And that then just needs that like that and that will give us all of our gems very slowly made but it'll give us all of our gems and there's probably not a whole lot of them that I'm actually going to be using at least not now uh, the main one that I wanted was I wanted to upgrade my laser turrets so right now the main one I'm going to need is blue, so sapphire, and then I could use emerald to go up another one. That one is going to take a lithium battery, so we can't do that. It's also going to take invar, which we haven't set up yet. But I can at least take it to level two. I also want to try the laser rifle. Um, and it's got ruby laser rifle battery and sapphire laser rifle battery. Again, emerald, amethyst need the other battery. So we're not going to be able to do those yet. But I may be checking those out sometime soon. Even though I'm not really using uh, weapons too much anymore. I do want to show you guys here that I have 
up here. I think you guys seen they were trying to come in. I have this whole area protected by those turrets. Although I do have something that is moved in there. Because apparently we are out of ammunition there and there. Which will be setting up something to take care of that eventually. And then I also have put two of them over here. I also put in two Mark II plasma turrets to take care of anything that tries to come in when they attack. And I'm quite sure both of these are empty as well. But they did a lot of work when they had ammunition. And I'm going to go get some more and get them back to work. But yeah, um, I think Plasma Mark II. Oh no, Mark III just needs the other battery. Okay, so it looks like Invar and that other battery is what's keeping us from really going up any higher. So I guess we're going to have to get those batteries made quite soon. But I think I will let you guys go. And we may be doing the big changeover of all the processing things moved. We may do that next. We'll see. I'll see you guys next time.